Introducing the new D1 hub. The control system for the 2015 Bay and Reflection Collection. In this video, we will provide a technical overview of the system and highlight some of the new features. The new D1 hub features an intuitive color screen with animated icons. Zone lighting controls. D1 Bluetooth audio system control. The input terminal block is located on the left side of the pack and is where the main power is fed into the control from the GFCI. The SPAs require 240 volt AC input power, 60 Hz. All SPAs require a neutral and a ground line. Six gauge copper wire is recommended. All other required voltages and wire colors continue to be the same as with previous D1 models. The high voltage connections are used to power components requiring high voltage. The left high voltage connections power the circulation pump, equipment fan, audio power supply, and jet pump 3. The right high voltage connections power jet pumps 1 and 2 and ultra pure or ultra pure plus systems. The 3.4 kilowatt heater output terminal is where you connect the heater, black, red, and ground wires. Because our spas are equipped with smart heat, the 2.1 kilowatt heater output terminal is where the secondary heater is connected, the white wire. The exterior skirt light output connector feeds 12 volt AC to the skirt light PC board. The PC board then converts it to DC to power the LEDs. This connector is always powered. Lighting zone connectors. This PC board will feed power to the two spa lights zones, the footwell and all round the spa zones. This new feature will allow you to control the desired color pattern in all zones together or as two separate areas. The third connection is open and the fourth will feed the status light. There is also an 8-pin connector that receives information from the magnetic switchboard and a 4-pin data connector for spas equipped with a dynamic massage sequencer. The flow switch connector receives a signal from the flow switch to activate the heater on bay and reflection models. These two sensors are now on a single connector, but they can be separated for replacement as needed. The temperature sensor is normally in contact with the spa water, and it periodically checks the temperature. If the sensor detects water temperature loss, the sensor will communicate with the software to activate the heater. The high limit sensor is a protection mechanism and is not in direct contact with the water, but with the actual heater casing. If this sensor detects high temperatures on the heater casing, it will disengage power to the heater, preventing damages to the equipment and protecting the user. The low voltage connections or data ports that are located on the bottom of the lower control will receive information from the D1 Bluetooth audio unit and the D1 hub upper control. All technical details are also applicable for the at-home collection. Main differences. No left high voltage connection. No smart heat. Pressure switch. If there is an initial field failure on the upper control, please return the failed system to D1 for complete assembly replacement. On initial field failures on the lower control, please return the failed system to D1, excluding the heater. This will allow us to work with the vendor to perform a complete analysis and quickly address any reliability issues. You will be notified via tech bulletin when we want to replace parts at the component level under warranty. Any key questions can be sent to D1 Spas Technical Service, service at d1spas.com. 1-800-345-1111
7227.